everybody was so pissed at Call of Duty Ghosts because the maps were so 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 large and so wide open, and I guess the game was boring. So let's go ahead and look at another map. Now this is the map comeback. And let's see how this map looks. Clock in, gentlemen. Let's get to work. Is that a zip line? Is that a zip line? Oh. I thought this was Titanfall with a Call of Duty package. I want to jump and hold X. How come I can't zip line? I told, I was saying this about Respawn. If they don't make Titanfall a good game, Call of Duty, Activision, and um, Raven Studios, or whoever made this game, Sledgehammer Games, they're going to mess around and make a better Titanfall than Respawn did. I used to be like, the goons are definitely in the building, y'all. We used to run around and rack up like 70 kills a game. I went on an epic win streak. I don't remember what it was, but it was the, the rule was no backing out. Ever. And if you left me, if you left me, you never game with me again. Like, I, my goons were that tight. But that was my Black Ops 1 days, man. I love that game. Oh, I love the time frame. That, the time frame was the truth. Hey, this is where I go to post my videos, you know, sit down and do the commentary. I don't know how anybody could type like this. That doesn't make any sense. I wonder what kind of PC this is. It's probably extremely expensive, ain't it? I've always kind of liked Treyarch games better than Infinity War. The only Infinity War game that I liked better was Modern Warfare 2. But ever since then, Treyarch has always had the better ideas. And their map style, their everything about their game seems to be better, in my opinion. I didn't like Modern Warfare 3 very much. And I did not like Call of Duty Ghosts. And all of those games were using the Infinity Ward engine. And so you can understand that I, I just don't really like Infinity Ward. Their type of games. They, they have better hit detection and better graphics. But their ideas are terrible. And they don't make use of fixing the issues in the game very frequently. They just let you ride with a busted game for a long time. Let's see. Why is it making me spectate? What is this? So this is the map Defender. In fact, this is the map that I think we all saw first when they first put out the multiplayer clip that they put out. Uh, somewhere around E3. Oh, and by the way, I did not buy this game. Machinima reached out to Activision, and I guess they got a few copies, and they sent me one. I was totally caught off guard. I did not know this was coming. They asked me a, a few months ago if there was a game that I would want for free or a game that I'm looking forward to playing to post on my channel. I already knew that I was getting 2K, and I wasn't going to buy and be alive. And, uh... I, I think I just told them Call of Duty would be cool because, you know, I wasn't planning on buying this game. I was going to wait for some reviews. And they sent it to me. You, sh you should have seen the, the surprise look on my face this morning. When the, the, the FedEx guy knocks on the door and he's like, Shakedown 2012, sign here. I'm like, oh, that must mean I got a game. I'm like, it's probably somebody send, sending me 2K. I don't, like, I already have 2K. Hopefully it's on Xbox. <laughs> when I opened it up, it, it, it was this game, so. I was pretty shocked. I had this game all morning. I could have been playing all morning, but. Look at this. What the? Oh. It's terrible. Because I have a surprise for you guys. I don't want to say nothing, but I am flying out again this weekend. And I'll be testing out another game. So, I'm not going to make that announcement until later on this week. But just know that I am going out again. Some of the storyline. So, this is Detroit. Oh! I broke right through. Guess I'm too heavy. I will say that the graphics look nice. Come on. I want a real next-gen experience. Let me drive a car. They have a nice... Like, the backgrounds and everything in this game are really nice. Come on, let me through. Oh, yeah, there's going to be a guy down here in this corner like this. 
waiting for people to come by. I know it. It's gonna be just like this. Waiting like this. And he's gonna start shooting crazy. And he's gonna run up and knife you. And he's gonna run right back to the corner and sit just like this. All right, this is Detroit. I'm sure I'm probably missing some things on some maps, but I'm trying to go through these pretty quickly. I want to give you guys a nice breakdown of what the maps look like. I'm pretty impressed so far. I think these maps are pretty cool. And I like how they're how they're generally pretty small. How come I can't break glass? I mean, come on. You got an exo suit on. Should be the best. Look at that. An aquarium? How much you want to bet if I shoot that aquarium with all these bullets, those fish don't pour out onto the floor? Excellent I'll do one even better. I'll shoot Eliminate a grenade enemies. at it. Let's see what happens. I told you. And these are not even real fish. Is this an aquarium inside of a an advertisement? No, no, it isn't. This is where the real fish is supposed to be. And I can't harm them. Ah, it's not next gen enough. Just so you guys know. Yo, this map looks like a Halo map, man. Like Halo 4. I like this. Look at look at the staircase. How far in the future am I? I'm a 2K player. We don't want to see nothing out of bounds. This is beautiful, though. This map is serious. This takes me... This makes me feel like... Like I'm playing, um... This makes me feel like I'm playing Killzone. Wait a minute. You can't go inside these elevators? Come on, in Battlefield, we can go in the elevators. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I said I can push X. Oh, just to climb on a garbage can? Who, who would climb on this? Who would, who would be sitting right here? Who would do this? You must be really far in the future to have advertisements like this. You can't even see the bottom of the street. PACAF is one place that I never got a chance to go to when I was in the military, so... I, I don't know much about Asia. It's, it always confuses me when people say that they want to experience a different culture, and then they want to go to London or England or something like that. <laughs> I've been there, and I'm like, yo, London and England and Paris, it's just like New York City and... You know, Seattle, it ain't no different. Ain't no new culture up there. People out there do the same stuff we do here. In fact, they probably do more of the same stuff we do here. You know, the legal drinking age over there is, is younger, and you can, you can, in Amsterdam, you can, you can drink and you can smoke weed and all that kind of stuff. All right, so this map is awesome. I love the way it looks. I'm impressed. I hope there's no way, I hope there's no, you know, messed up things in the game that, um, that'll make me hate this map. When I play this game, I get the feeling like I'm playing Crisis. In Crisis, you can jump around just like this. I wonder, can I, can I jump and punch the ground? Let me see, come on, let, let me jump and punch. I guess I don't have the big... Oh! Oh, that killed me, really? Can you get this experience on the 360? Probably. All non-sentinel operatives are considered hostile. Probably. You could probably get this Take on the 360 out. or a, P a PS3. So this is the map Horizon. And by the way, I'm wearing headsets. I'm wearing Turtle Beach headsets. I don't recommend any other form of headset other than Turtle Beach. Turtle Beach is probably the only company I recommend. Because I've had Turtle Beaches. I've had Titans or Tritons or whatever things are. And they broke. If there's a headset that I recommend, it's the Turtle Beach PX4s. I don't recommend nothing else. I can just see it now. Like, why would anybody come up here, I guess, to call in a, a kill streak? I don't think there's Claymores in the game, so we're going to put a Claymore at the steps. Go up here, lay down, try to put out a kill streak. I used to be a rusher. I, I, don't, I don't know what I am anymore. What is this? Wow. Yeah, this is depth. See, this is like a next gen look. Look at this. Oh, so we've we've been experimenting with magnetism. Just just know that whatever you're seeing in these video games is more than likely actually out there, but we don't have access to it. It's probably something that the military is using under some secret branches and things like that. Most everything you see in sci-fi, if it, if it can be done in a movie, just know that they're trying to do it in real life. <laughs> I learned that when I was in the Air Force. Just the other portion of the map. Don't die! Oh! Every, that looks like a Titan! I thought that was a Titan at first. I was like, what? This map is called Instinct. 
And it looks like a map straight out of Crisis. You guys play Crisis, you'll know what I'm talking about. I want to see if the same stones are popping up. Oh, they shrink. What are we? What are we digging for here? What's going on here? What? What are you guys looking for? Some ancient Olmec ruins? Is that what this is? Is this supposed to be like ancient America, Central America? The ancient Olmec society? Most of you guys have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> probably think the Mayans are the ones that built the pyramids too. <laughs> There's definitely some ancient stuff going on here. Are we on Easter Island? What is this? Up, oh, camping spot. Here's where somebody's gonna be at right here. Trying to give you give away all, all your little secrets. Somebody's gonna be just like this. Looking for somebody. Look at this. This is exactly where somebody's gonna be at. I'm gonna shoot a grenade right in his face. Look at that, yep, another one. Look at these camping spots. I like this map, but it looks it looks like a big circle. Yeah, this map looks like a huge circle. Let me look at the... Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Look at the map. And there goes my ancient brothers and sisters right there, putting a face on the wall. That's what we used to do, you know? That's what we used to do. We used to put our faces on the walls. <laughs> we used to carve our faces in walls so you remember us. So you never forget us. All right, so now we're on recovery. This map looks very similar to the last map I was on. <laughs> Look, another room. Camper's Delight. Look at this. Somebody's gonna be right in this room just like this. Sitting on their knees. Just waiting. And they'll see you come around the corner and they start shooting like this. Just camping. See, what you gotta do is you gotta be aware of that. You know they're in that room. You gotta come over and shoot the grenade at them like this. And then run out the room. Blow their asses up. Oh yeah, this must be in some illegal area somewhere in South Africa or South America. They're mining for some raw materials that the world hasn't discovered yet. That can replace our our, our current use of energy. <laughs> I'm sure. Alright, I think that's enough of this map. It's not that impressive. It's, it, I mean, like I said, watch this map end up being my favorite map though. All the maps that I say are not that good. They're gonna end up being my favorite. It's another Asian map. I like this. Or it looks like Asian style. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, maybe it's something else. This looks nice. Ah, I'm in the water. Is this another circle, circular map? It seems like it. But yes, I'm being flown out again. I'm gonna go test out another big big title. Or at least a title that I consider pretty big. But this map looks really nice. Look at this. That's how my backyard used to look. Used to have lights just like this. All non oh, we can play basketball! Style. That's all I ever wanna do. Can I jump into the hoop? It'd be funny if I could jump into the hoop. <laughs> That's dope. Kind of Modern Warfare 2-ish. With all the grays and the in the tans. Oh, this is nice. Oh yeah, there's a precincts up here. Who's locked up? Nobody's locked up. I guess everybody escaped during the riot. <laughs> I'ma give a couple shout outs to a few people that I like to watch Call of Duty. Definitely check out the Marker J. If you are a Call of Duty fan and you want to see somebody who's got some skills, some real crazy skills, check out the Market J. Him and I are old friends. And we've been at this YouTube thing for a while. Weapons okay, free. Okay, now we're on the map right Solar. Up, solar. And it looks like there's a lot of solar panels everywhere. Look at this. Look at all those solar panels. It's probably hot as hell over there. But another shout out to my man Fisticuffs. Look at this. Look at this. This is kind of dope. Uh oh, is this another camp spot? Look at this. Somebody's gonna be waiting right here. They're gonna be shooting at the wall. 
you're gonna be coming down the steps and they're gonna be waiting for you right down here on one knee see so what you gotta do is when you come down you gotta just shoot the grenade and then you gotta jump back here and surprise them punch him in his face you know what I'm saying that's how you get past them damn campers I'm trying to give you guys the tips to get away from the campers because that's what this game is about Call of Duty used to be about running around. I hope it, I hope it's not like that. I'm just playing right now. I haven't played multiplayer. I don't want to give a bad look to the game yet. But once again, huge shout out to Fist the Cuffs. He was the original Call of Duty beast that I used to watch. And if NASA is still playing, definitely check out NASA. You know, I I hope he plays because this game seems pretty cool already. I mean, it's got that futuristic feel to it that he likes. So definitely check out my man NASA1, or NASA from NYC. I call him NASA1 because that's that's his old name. This is something that Treyarch does really you nice. Now have execute authority. They make night maps, and their night maps are beautiful. This map, I can already tell you, I'm, I'm falling in love. I love to wine and dine. I love it. Terrace. This map Terrace looks beautiful. This looks crazy. I, what? It's a pool? Oh, you must, you must be, you must have to be rich. Hey, hey, let's lock the doors and let's have a swing party. Lock the doors. Let's have a swing party. I want to give another huge shout out to Multi Styles, another great Call of Duty commentator. Been waiting for a long time to get this game in his hands. Definitely go check him out. As far as visuals are concerned, this is my favorite map already. Splash! Look at this. Look at this beach ball. Look at this. We can play with the beach ball. Yes, it's 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 Destiny all over again. That's what they used to make us do in Destiny. We could play with a beach ball. We couldn't trade guns. We couldn't trade artifacts. But we could play with a beach ball. We didn't have any proximity chat. So we couldn't talk to nobody at the tower. But we could play with a beach ball. I think a beach ball is more important than anything else. Why do they put ladders in the game? Is there any case where you wouldn't have your exo suit on? Or maybe they, maybe there's cases where you don't have the exo suit. Maybe there's, there's modes where there's no boosting. And you have traditional Call of Duty style. That is perhaps the fruitiest looking blimp I've ever seen in my life. As long as they have internet, I would move here and I would do my Call of Duty videos and my 2K videos and and I would just live here. <laughs> But last but not least, give a huge shout out to my man Jive Turkey. He is the number one guy I would recommend for Call of Duty games because he's got great commentary, but he's also got good skills too, like really good skills. He's, he's like a beast at the game. He doesn't like to admit it. He's too humble. He's always like, oh man, I'm all right. You know, nobody would want to watch me play because of my skills. Yes, they do want to watch you because of your skills. Please tell Jive to stop complaining so much. Just have fun and kick people's ass. He's always trying to talk about, but he's a lot like me though. I can't really say that, you know, because I used to do the same thing. I played Call of Duty, not Call of Duty, but I played Madden football and 2K and just complained about a lot of issues in the game to get my point across. And that's all he's trying to do, get his point across. And I commend that. So this wraps up my review of the, of the maps. I like all the maps. The majority of them seem pretty cool. I haven't played against anybody yet, but the design, they're pretty small. Look at these. These maps are really small. Close quarter combat. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll holla at you dudes later. Now I'm just playing. Some of y'all think I'm leaving.